Hi everyone, welcome to the KRIOPS channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be cleaning after the creation of some pets. In the last video we we finalized the, the scenarios but not all scenarios were running because we were not cleaning up uh, after some scenarios and it's very important that one scenario clean up after itself. So when one scenario creates or, or, or modifies the data, the initial data, it should put that data to the in, into the initial state. So this is what we're going to be looking uh, so we can finalize this, wrap it up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. Uh, and I'm going to be posting the links of all my previous videos. So it's very important for you to understand how we got this and understand the whole press process that we have been doing. Right. So what we have here, so I don't need this anymore. We have, let me show you what, what's happening. So if I uh, run my tests, it's going to pass. If I rerun again, it's going to fail even more. So if I look at the English one, it is expecting seven pets, but it got eight. Right? because we are creating pets, extra pets. And we need to make sure that we are not doing that or we are, not, we, we are cleaning after the pets that we created. So what I'm going to do, I'm going here, the ones that we are creating is here on the pet, uh, sorry, store feature. So I'm going to give it a name, delete extra pets, and I'm going to, Put this on a hook because this can be used in any uh, for any scenario. I'm going to go to my config and I'm going to create an after after and this is my hook public void delete extra pets. I'm going to, I'm going to need to call the the pet because this to delete the pet is on the pet API, so I need to be able to call the pet API from here. And now I can do pet API dot whatever, delete extra pet, delete extra pets. Okay. And I want for now to delete all the available zone. Uh, available. I can create the code from here, create the method in pet API, yes. And here is going to be status, the name, the name of the parameter to be received this is going to be status. Um, so what I'm going to do, we need to find the pets. So I'm going to have a list of all the pets and I have uh, some of the pets that I want to maintain because I'm not sure if you remember when you create this store it comes with some data which is the seed data you can have this strategy of already have some data there so you can use you can play with it uh, and whatever data extra that you need you insert but if you insert that extra data you need to be able to delete that data that the later data needs to be cleaned up otherwise it's going to fail as it's what's happening with us right now so this is the the, the ones that i want to keep i want to keep one two four, seven, there is a list, I, have a, I already have the list of one, the ones that we want to keep. So this is what we're going to do, right? We need to get a list of all the pets available, and then I, I want to delete the ones that it's extra. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, I want to get, right, path param, we already have the endpoint here, the status one and the pass parameter is status. So I want status, status, and the value for that is going to be status. When I do a get to find pets, then what I want, I want to return the path an ID. 
requires that. So you're going to see that when I do this, I receive a list of IDs, a list of a bunch of stuff. I just care about the ID. I do not care about anything else. So I'm just going to say I want the ID. So this is what I'm going to do. Then return the ID. All right. So, but this is going to be a list of IDs. So I'm going to say this is going to be a list of integers. And I'm going to call pets ID. Now I need to have another list with the pets that I want to maintain. So I'm going to say list integer pets to keep. And this is going to be an array as list. And the ones is one, two, four, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Total of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are the ones that I want to maintain. So what I need to do now is I, I need to loop through these. Sorry, I need to loop through this. And if those are in this list, then I keep it. If it's not in this list, I delete. So I'm going to do a for to loop through pets ID. And each pet ID is going to be referenced as a pet ID. Right? So now what I'm going to do if pets to keep dot contains pet ID then delete. Right? So it's going to loop through everything here. Each ID is going to be referenced as a pet ID. If pets to keep contain the pet ID that's looping, then it's going to go into the if. But that's not what I want, right? I do not want to go into the if if it found it in this in this array in pets to keep. I want to enter the if if it was not found. So what I need to do is I, I need to negate this if. So if pets to keep do not contain pet ID, then I can delete. So what I'm going to do, given I have a pass parameter, which is also for the delete. This is for the delete, sending the ID. I pass on the ID and the ID is pet ID dot uh, delete pet endpoint id pet endpoint then status code http http status 200 awesome so i can put this back now so now it's going to loop and it's going to maintain only this one, the ones that I want, right? So I can do three here and say pending if I want. And I don't know the sold. Or I can loop for and search for everything here in this method. It's up to me, right? For now, I think having this only for the availables, which is the one that we are using, is good enough. Otherwise, it's going to search for, it's going to uh, check for maybe too many things. Uh, we don't need that, right? Right, so I can re-execute everything now. It's going to fail because this was in the after. Right, so it's executing again as is, as was, and then it's now executing the after. So I can rerun again. 
still failed oh I see so what happened is I put it on the English version but I did not put in the Portuguese version so I need to put also in the Portuguese version so the Portuguese version is going to delete after itself also otherwise it won't work there you go I can run again awesome so if I go to if I bring this up here I can stop docker stop pet store and I can docker start pet store so this is going to clean and have a fresh set of data I can rerun all my tests and everything passed I can rerun again everything passed no failure there then one more time great so it's now working we are actually properly cleaning our data right and of course this is not still not the ideal world because we do not control the data because we do not control the data that's why we need to do this if I had control of the data, it would be easier for me because I would have exactly know what I wanted. I could I could have this C data being executed more than once. I could just say clean everything and then re-execute the, the C data. The C data, most of the time, it's, it's very fast to be created. Uh, so it would be fine to, to have that process being re-executed multiple times. If not, then there's not... Uh, worth it why is to do that because your test is going to take a long time but since we do not own the data but i know the ones that i want to keep so and this is very important right because if i create a user i cannot re retry the user again create the the create user test again because the user is already there so it's going to fail because it's going to give a message saying this user already exists so we need to clean that up so that's basically it. this was a strategy for our need you're going to have your own need then you're going to have to create your own strategy your own code to make sure that you are cleaning it up but it's important that you clean yourself your test up right cool uh, thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos if you like give the thumb give the thumbs up and it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing and i'll see you next video thank you